क्लास सिक्स मैथमेटिक्स एन सी आर टी टेक्स्ट बुक गणित प्रकाश एम सी क्यूज ऑन चैप्टर फोर डेटा हैंडलिंग एंड प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज डेटा ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट फैक्ट्स नंबर्स मेजर्स ऑब्जर्वेशन और अदर डिस्क्रिप्शन कन्वेइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन इज कॉल्ड डेटा क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग डेटा ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट to make analysis and interpretation easier question number 3 in a pictograph what does a scale represent option b is correct the value that each symbol or picture represents question number 4 if one unit length equals 5 students how many unit unit lengths will represent 25 students in a bar graph option c is correct 5 Five students equals to one unit. It means twenty-five students is equals to twenty-five upon five. That equ that is equals to five units. Question number five: What is the most suitable graph to represent the heights of mountains? Option C: Bar graph is correct. Question number six: In the bar graph, the width of each bar should be option A is correct. Uniform. Question number seven: What is the primary reason for choosing a specific scale for a bar graph? Option A is correct to fit the graph on the page. Question number eight: Which of the following is not true for a pictograph? Option B is correct. It always represents exact values. Question number nine: If the frequency of a category in a bar graph is 40 and the scale is 1 unit equals to 5 how many units should the bar's height be option d is correct 8 5 equals to 1 unit it means 40 equals to 40 upon 5 that is 5 that is 8 units question number 10 how can a bar graph mislead an audience option a is correct by using misleading visuals such as varying bar widths question number 11 which is more visually appealing a bar graph or an infographic option b is correct infographic is more visually appealing question number 12 why might pictographs not always be practical option b is correct because they cannot represent large data sets effectively Question number thirteen: What is the frequency of shoe size five in the data given below? Five, five, four, three, five, six, four, five. Option C is correct. Four, because five occurred four times in the data. Question number fourteen: If fifty students borrow one one book from a library, and a pictograph shows one book symbol representing five books, how many symbols will be needed? option b is correct 10 5 books represented by one book symbol it means 50 books will be represented by 50 upon 5 that is equals to 10 symbols question number 15 what is the benefit of a bar graph compared to a table option b is correct it allows for faster visual comparisons question number 16 In a bar graph what does the vertical axis typically represent option b the vertical axis typically represents either values or frequencies question number 17 what is column co column graph option a is correct a graph with vertical bars is called column graph Question number eighteen: What should you ensure while making a bar graph? Option C is correct. While making a bar graph, we must ensure bars are equally spaced and have uniform width. Question number nineteen: What is the primary use of tally marks? Option B is correct. The primary use of tally marks is to organize the data. Question number 
हाउ कैन यू मेक एन इन्फोग्राफिक मिसलीडिंग ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट इन्फोग्राफिक एंड इन्फोग्राफिक कैन बी मिसलीडिंग बाई एडिंग टू मैनी डेकोरेटिव एलिमेंट्स 